or so runners will fill downtown Springdale for the 46th annual Hog Eye Marathon happening tomorrow. Thanks for joining us here for your 5 News at 10. I'm Erica Thomas. And I'm Darren Bob. It is a long standing tradition in Northwest Arkansas with about 1,500 runners planning to run in that event tomorrow. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson joins us live in Springdale tonight. Micah, among those thousands of runners is a woman from Pittsburgh planning on running her 544th <laughs> marathon. Hey, Darren, Erica, not only that, this 64 year old is a stroke survivor and tomorrow she'll run in her seventh hog eye marathon. Saturday at around 7 a.m. Thousands of runners are set to take on the hog eye marathon. So this will be the 46th year for the marathon and for 64 year old runner Marie Bartoletti. <laughs> This will be her 27th year running marathons. My first marathon in 1995. Running the Pittsburgh Marathon, she completed it after several other small running competitions. I did 5K. It's hard to do. <laughs> but it made her want to run more. I did one last week and two marathons in a row, Saturday and Sunday. With 543 marathons completed, Marie has run 14,226 race miles. That's equivalent to running more than halfway around the world. The hog eye will be her 544th. You'll likely see her outdoors with bunny ears. <laughs> She's a pacer, meaning she usually runs marathons on a set time. She'll run the hog eye in five hours. It makes me feel good. That's why she kept running, even after her stroke, in 2015. Six years ago on Thanksgiving Day. Her doctor says if she wasn't in such good health, she would not be alive. So she keeps running. 223 marathons since the stroke. The secret to her endurance, it's all in the legs. My dad, um, he's a Notre Dame quarterback. Now I am in my 20s, so I'm very jealous of this woman. I asked her, you know, could I borrow your legs or something? Because I never ran a marathon and get this. She tells me in less than a week she'll be running in the Boston Marathon. Now heads up for drivers tomorrow. If you're planning on heading out here, you do need to know that from Shiloh to Spring on Emma Street, it will be closed off and you need to expect some traffic delays along the marathon route. For now, we're live here in Springdale covering news where you live. Mike Wilson, 5 News. All right, Micah, thanks. Talk about an inspiration, right? The Hog Eye Marathon also asking for donations for those impacted by last week's tornado, asking for gently used clothing and shoes. Now, if you want to head out tomorrow, you can join in to watch starting at 7 a.m. on Emma Avenue in downtown Springdale. The course takes runners past the city's five major parks. It will include a portion of the Lake Fayetteville Trail. The course will run primarily on Springdale streets, but sections will run through Johnson and Fayetteville. And a small part of the 26.2 mile course will take place on the Razorback Greenway. All right, one thing is for sure.